Family is important animals. Let's share some stories. Be me, be good grandson who loves his grandparents. Hear that grandma fell. She's got paranoia and depression from before. So this affects her more. No she's very religious. Offer myself to take her to church. Bring her inner peace and comfort. Happy.exe. She's very thankful and gives me a very warm smile and soft hug. Co-worker says I never smile or talk. Tell her I don't get happy when I see her so I don't smile. Tell her she can talk to other people. She says that sounds like something a serial killer would say. Tell her that they are my own words and to let me work. Inform my boss and treat her coldly for 5 months. Asks if she remembers calling me a serial killer. She laughs and says she doesn't remember. Says I do seem like one though. She gets nervous when she realizes the situation she put herself into. Later she tries to apologize. Did not accept her apology. Do you think I crossed a line here? Be me. Dog of 15 years just died 2 weeks ago. Spend every day in bed. Feel lump on my right nipple. Go to doc to check it out. Doc does a bunch of tests. Turns out I have breast cancer. Ask doc I thought only women can get that. Turns out a small percentage of breast cancer cases are men. My face when can't afford chemo. My face when maybe 6 months left. My face when dog's still dead. How do I profit off this bros? Be me. In school like 2 years ago. Have sudden urge to shit pants. Ask teacher to go to bathroom while hiding farts and sprint out. For some reason study hall classrooms are in the library at our school not sure why. Run out into library and see some autistic kid getting lessons from a teacher. Running so fast at this point I can't control my farts anymore. Rip ass all over where they are. So bad even I can smell it 30 seconds of running later. Get to bathroom and shit pants. Walk back to class. No sign of them in the library. Haven't told anybody about this but I'm scared that I'll see that kid again and he'll recognize me. Only fans announces they won't allow porn anymore. Female friend suddenly starts crying about financial problems. At work, they just hired some new girl around my age. Works in a different department. We're doing fire training. Standing around outside after fire drill. Start talking to her. Topic flows to local restaurants. Mention a local brewery with great beer. She says oh yeah, I was there a few weeks ago with my boy, stops dead, looks me up and down, this guy I was seeing, had a hearty internal kick at that, girls are so thirsty sometimes. Be me, sleeping in guest room at friends, we go on a trip tomorrow for a week and are sharing a room, really want a jerk of right now, guest room is in basement so I have enough privacy, but it's still my friend's house, conflicted between human decency and big horny. Won't be able to smack it once we leave. It's now or never. What do? Be me. 27. Recently quit drinking when I realized I'm just as miserable drunk as I am sober. Become overcome with waves of sorrow and fear sometimes. End up wandering around in a store because I'm too scared to be alone but have nowhere to go. End up at the toy aisle. Pick up a plush giraffe. Realize I don't want to let go of it. It's the biggest fucking thing on the shelf but I've got grown up money and it still costs less than a bottle of vodka. End up buying it. Take it home. End up taking it to bed with me as I try to go to sleep at night. It's just the right size to be the little spoon. Suddenly burst into tears. End up crying myself to sleep. Cuddling up a toy and gently stroking the giraffe's left ear. B16. Get a girlfriend. My first relationship. Now 30. Still with girlfriend. So suggest getting married. She says yes. Recently made some dollar on crypto. Offer to pay fully for the wedding. Or, love you hun. Since you're paying let me do all the organizing work so you don't have to worry about it. Cool. Transfer all the money to her account so she can get organizing. We talk about the organization asking me if I like certain things. Food tastings etc. Standard wedding things. Breaks up with me one week before the wedding. Doesn't cancel wedding plans and marries someone else. What the fuck can I do? I just paid for someone else's wedding to marry my fucking ex after 14 years for fuck's sake. Never thought I'd be fucking cut this bad this hard. Be me. Neat. Get nervous when I hear the slightest noise outside my room. The noise makes me quit any activity which needs a bare minimum of concentration. Reading a book. Playing video. 
Watching a show, I can only do those things when it's actually quiet. Now I'm just avoiding anything I like doing because I can't do it in peace anymore. Is there an illness which this situation falls under? I'm diagnosed with OCD if that helps. Be me. Lying in bed. Wasting my life away as usual. Get message from sister. Send me a good picture of yourself. There's this girl that wants to see you. Think she's bullshitting me. Tell her I don't have any. She sends a video of the girl. She's saying some shit about wanting to see what I'll look like. She's cute I guess. Her face is covered by a mask so I can't really make out any details. Start to get nervous. Why the fuck am I nervous? I genuinely don't have any pictures of myself. What's your favorite anime? Oh shit oh fuck I don't know you HH. Alright bro. Whatever talk to you later I guess. Stops answering me. Officially too autistic to get a girlfriend even when it's handed to me on a silver platter. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content.